Trib Live Radio presents Panther Lair, hosted by Pitt Insider Chris Peak of PantherLair.com. A full hour of Pitt football, basketball, and recruiting talk. Friend of the program, Rob Harley. Pitt linebackers coach. He's joined us before. He talked to us in the spring. Great, uh, gra- great guy with a lot of insight. A lot of, uh, and, and he likes to talk about this program. He likes to share insight on this program. And so I caught up with him after uh, after uh, practice this week to talk about the linebacker position, the defense, and just this team overall, where it is uh, in training camp 2015. Uh, Coach Narduzzi talked the other day about staying in Sutherland Hall. Whole team, he said he's up there. I assume the assistants are as well? We are uh, up there one day. One day? One day, so we all got bet check. He'll be up there the whole time. Um, <laughs> no old head coach. Uh, I believe Randy Walker did that in Miami of Ohio, and Coach really thought that was quite a deal for a head coach to do that. So uh, he's going to decide to do it, and uh, we're going to be there one night. All of us assistants get one night in the dorms with the guys, and if we wanted to, we could be. But uh, obviously some of us are going to spend some time with our family quickly for two hours, and we're back in the facility. But it's a heck of a deal for the head coach to, to commit like that. Well, I know he said that one important thing was building chemistry through that, and we've seen it with the room assignments, mixing positions in classes and all that stuff. Have you seen It's only been a few days of camp. Have you seen some tangible impact of that? Have you seen some chemistry with this team growing? I think it's something that uh, you can see, but I think it's also something that's, that's a little bit subconscious. You know, the guys are going to be around each other, and then it's going to get a little bit tiresome. A camp always does at every level to be around each other. All you do is see each other. You want to start to see some opposite color jerseys and, and uh, some opponents. But it's one of those subconscious things that you start to start to build that foxhole mentality. And it's and when you're going to go, and I'm going to my C gap, I'm a linebacker, I'm covering my guy. I know i got 10 other dudes that got my back. And it's just in the back of your mind because we've been in this thing together now for a month straight in camp. And, and I think you're starting to see a little bit of that in the field as we go, three days in, four days in. But uh, it's something that's, a, that's an overall, it's a process rather than just a quick fix so these guys are going to feel it I know during the season. Uh, Let's talk about your position specifically then uh, chemistry and and leadership and what have you seen so far out of that group do you see guys emerging kind of taking leadership there? Uh, I think so I think so and leadership comes in a lot of different packages Um, you know Matt Galambos is doing a great job as our as our mic right now running with the ones and and we want to get Quentin Ward Janice in there and, and really pushing Matt for, for a starting job. And that, that'll happen as, as Q gets a little more experience. And, and, and Matt's continuing to kind of come on and, and lead us with his calls and all that stuff. And you're seeing an old guy like uh, Freeze, uh, Nicholas Grigsby, he's stepping up with vocally a little bit more now as he gets more comfortable with the system. And that's kind of what you're seeing. Guys early on were, were blinders on kind of, hey, I want to learn my role. As they learn it more, those blinders get wider and wider, and soon they come off because, hey, I'm comfortable with my job, enough to know my job, and then, hey, let's talk to the guy next to me because I'm comfortable with my job. So that's what you're seeing a little bit, and the more practice that we stack on top of each other, the more communication, the more leadership's going to come. Uh, new staff with new defense, you, every time this happens, you inherit players, you know, and, and they don't, might not always be perfect fits for what you're trying to do, but specifically Grigsby and Bradley, uh, how, how do they fit in? Are, are they the type of outside linebackers you want in this defense, or how do they kind of fit in what you guys are looking for? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Freeze uh, to be on the edge and in, in open space is a heck of an athlete and, and a guy we need out there. Speed kills on defense because speed kills on offense, and that's what offenses are attacking you is speed. So we got to match that speed and athleticism, and I think – you know, right now, uh, Freeze and, and Bam give us a chance, give us a chance at that role. But we got guys coming on, and, and a part of it's knowing your job and speed of eyes, not just having the talent of just God-given speed. Speed of eyes, speed of feet, speed of your reads uh, are going to give us a chance. So right now, those guys are doing a good job, and we got other guys that are going to press them. And, and the young guys are coming on, the young freshmen are starting to learn and get their feet wet a little bit and, and know what it's like to actually read something. Some of those other guys, I mean, are you developing depth of those outside linebacker positions? I know no starting job is given, and, and there's competition, which is what you want. Uh, but are you developing some depth there? It seems like you got some bodies, but maybe not a whole lot of experience. Yeah, we're, de- we're developing some depth. And, uh, you know, it's critical that we just keep moving guys around. And with reps comes experience. There is no secret potion. The more reps, the more things they see, the more, the more experience they get, and the, and the more reps they get under their belt, the more comfortable they get. So we're just right now, it's a rep game. Uh, it's a numbers game in terms of reps. How many reps can we get each guy to where we, they feel comfortable and then we feel comfortable they can get the job done? I was reading about Coach Narduzzi's defense probably it was an article from a year ago or so. It described the linebackers specifically as their, their job is see ball, get ball. I mean, is that pretty much it right there for what you want out of the position? Well, there's a little more that goes into it than that. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, their initial reads and all their keys and their footwork and their eyes, if it takes them to the ball, then we got to go get it. And they got to trust it and have discipline and be laser-like focused. That was our kind of our key today going into, going into practice was focus and knowledge and understanding that if I have laser-like focus on whatever I need to be looking at and trust that, I'm going to make a play on that certain play. 
uh, I think some of the defensive players have said they, they do have a bit of a chip on their shoulder. They they know what happened last season and and kind of the I guess disrespect they feel like they're getting. Do you guys as coaches? I mean, do you you, do you want to feed into that a little bit? Feed into that that as motivation, the chip on the shoulder. I think you have to. I think as a, as a competitor, you you're not searching for notoriety. At the same time, you want to understand that people understand that we're that you're there. And you're a force to be reckoned with, and we're not there by any means, being a force to be reckoned with. But we're on, the, we're in the, a process in the works, and those guys, they have to know what we're fighting for. And it's not so much, hey, the media. It's not those people. It's our opponents. So our, our opponents are going to know we were there, and that's our goal. Our opponents got to know they've been in a ba- in a brawl, they've been in a battle, they've been in a fight, and they better know that. And we're again in the process of making sure that they know that right now. Uh, two more before we let you go. You mentioned the freshmen, Salim Braywell and Anthony McKee. Any quick flashes out of those guys the first few days? Well, you know, right now it's kind of paralyzation paralyzed, uh, by uh, by analyzation, and and they're uh, you know, a lot at them, a lot at them. They're finally being coached on the fine details rather than in high school, just go running and finding the ball. But uh, you're seeing spurts when they do what we want. The light kind of goes on and says, Coach, that was what you told me. And then they go find the ball and they make a play. So those are the things that just, it's like a virus. They make more plays, and all of a sudden it just runs rampant in them when they learn, oh, my gosh, if I do if they do what I what they taught me in meetings, I get to go make a play. So it's just about that. And they see flashes of shiny stuff and want to go chase it. Um, and it's just about talking laser like folks because right now they're see they're they're spraying everywhere. That laser's all over the place. And when we can get a focus, man, those two are two are very athletic. And uh, the future is bright for those two. And the last one for Rob Harley, linebackers coach. Your linebackers coach. We're also very active with the recruiting and and, and all that. And you guys obviously have some pretty nice places down here. Some things you've done with the locker room, team meeting room. Uh, any early feedback? Uh, have you guys? had some recruits down here have they have they responded well to this have you gotten the reaction you want out of that yeah they have you know they're in awe right now and, and knowing uh, again it's an arms race when you talk about facilities and and, and buildings and then and, and things you can offer visually for uh, for recruits and even our current players our current players we're recruiting our current players every day so they're bought in and those guys so appreciative of what they walked into after having a summer break and i think the recruits that have been down here before and are now seeing the after are really taken aback and it's some jaw dropping stuff so we look forward to having more and more guys down to kind of see what we're building that's just a start visually it looks good and now we're going to put a good product on the field